Welcome to this Stanford Fire Department water supply video on through the drain drafting for tanker shuttle operations. This segment will review the setup for through the drain drafting at the dump site. The third do engine in this role for water supply is the heart of the tanker shuttle operation so it is imperative crews are familiar with the roles and responsibilities of this unit. To help ensure all personnel are following the same procedures, crews should also practice these steps hands-on and perform actual drafting. To review, when the third do engine arrives to the location of the Siamese, the first and primary responsibility of this unit is to confirm it's a good location for a dump site and then hook into the Siamese and begin nursing the fire scene with tank water. This can be accomplished by using either the large diameter discharge on the officer's side or three inch from off the driver's side or rear of the engine. This sets the location of the dump site and puts the rest of the operation into motion. Remember, our primary goal for this setup is to keep opposing traffic lanes open for tankers to drive through and offload. We do not want any hose lines in the opposite lane where they can possibly be struck, shutting down the operation. So choose the discharge that best applies. As we begin to build our dump site, the third due officer should establish and announce its location over the air. This officer becomes the water supply officer unless relieved by a chief officer. Other units must park far enough away from the dump site to leave room for maneuverability of water supply equipment and apparatus. We do not want to clog this area. Once the first tanker is on scene, third due engine crews may need to assist the driver in hooking the tanker into the Siamese to nurse. Once this is accomplished, we can take the necessary equipment off the tanker for the dump site. We will begin with the removal of the first portable dump tank. These 9x15 tanks hold 2,500 gallons of water. An important note about these tanks. We want the red side to the red fire truck. This was designed this way because the drains on the red side are both set to receive a hard suction hose into the tank. The yellow side of the tank has the drain on the outside for when it's time to break down and drain water out of the portable tank. So be sure it faces the right way. When opening the tank, we want to make sure it is in a straight line with the side of the engine. Overlapping the edge no more than a few inches is preferable as it will help the tankers dump and leave a cushion between the tankers and the engine. If the tanks are set too far in from the edge of the engine, the tankers will have difficulty offloading water and can also cause them to pull too close to the third due engine. Be sure all corners of the tank get tucked back in. Once the tank is in place, we can bring in the necessary equipment for the operation. TOR and Long Ridge Tankers 68 and 78 carry dump site setup kits. All the necessary appliances are in the box. Remove the box from the tanker and bring it to the third due engine's pump panel area. Also considered part of the kit is the 13 foot hard suctions from the tanker. We want to discourage our manpower from climbing on top of apparatus to grab hard suctions. This helps avoid potential fall injuries. The tanker's hard suction is easily accessible from the ground. Bring these over to the draft engine.
With the equipment in place, the crew can first grab the ball from the kit and throw it into the portable tank. The ball's purpose is to help disrupt any vortexes created when the drafting level gets too low to the strainer. Next, grab the 90 degree suction elbow and Stortz adapter. The Stortz adapter should have the correct gray or white drafting gasket. As a reminder, we are using the Stortz adapter on the intake valve because this engine will likely already be in pump and supplying tank water to the fire scene. While the intake valve is closed, we can perform both setup and pumping operations at once. A snug fit for the 90 degree elbow is fine for now. Next, thread on your first hard suction hose to the 90 degree elbow and make it snug. Then, release the drain into the tank and slide the second hard suction through the drain and line it up to the first hard suction and tighten the two together. We can now connect the low-level strainer inside the tank. These strainers are capable to get the water level down to 2 inches and move 1,500 to 2,000 gallons of water per minute. One of the most important steps for this operation is using the bungee cord to wrap around the drain material to make a seal and keep the water in the portable tank. Fold the extra material over the drain, sneak the bungee under the hard suction, and put the clasp through the ring, and then pull it back over itself. Wrap a couple of times and clip the clasp onto the ring. If no bungee is present, a ratchet strap or even a tourniquet will be sufficient to keep water in the tank. Finally, starting at the low level strainer, work your way back to the pump panel and tighten all threads with a dead blow hammer. At the 90 degree elbow, two sets of hands are always better than one. Sometimes, air leaks can be found at the threads of the 90 degree elbow on the Stortz adapter. Using a large spanner and dead blow hammer gives the extra needed resistance to tighten the threads a little more. We are now ready for a tanker to come in and offload water. As soon as water passes over the low level strainer, the intake valve can be opened and priming for a draft can begin. Once the draft is obtained, the pump operator will now be supplying portable tank water to the fire scene. The pump operator can close the tank to pump valve and crack your tank to fill valve to resupply the booster tank for any potential disruptions in water shuttle delivery. If the fire scene demands additional water for suppression, a second tank should be placed in front of the first, again making sure it stays in line with the rest of the operation. It is best to have the tanks less than a foot apart. Once set, this tank will also need a holly tube to transfer water into the first tank. Holly tubes are located on the rear of Stanford's tankers. They are pre-packed with 50 feet of 2-inch hose. Deploy the hose back to the third dew engine. Place the holly tube into the second tank facing towards the first tank 
and on the opposite corner from the hard suction. If we need to set up a third tank and additional holly tube, the same steps apply. Grab your engine's 3 inch filler length and the Y adapter from the dump sight kit and hook it into the discharge. Attach the holly tube to the Y. The pump operator will set the pressure to the Y at 75 PSI. These holly tubes will move approximately 1200 gallons per minute. Your nozzle firefighter's assignment can be to operate the Y and control holly tubes. Remember to only operate one holly tube at a time. This takes the responsibility away from the pump operator so he can concentrate on water delivery from the first tank to the fire scene. Lastly, when operating in roadways, safety vests must be worn. The use of lighting and cones to navigate traffic safely through the scene is highly recommended. We hope you found this video beneficial in learning our setup for tanker operations and through the drain drafting. Good luck and be safe.